So in this video, I'm going to be showing how to culture bacteria and perform a direct sensitivity test. I'm going to be using a Mueller Hinton agar plate. I have my patient's name and then the date. I have a urine sample that was collected from Sisters and Thesis this morning. And I have a sterile um, swab. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use the sterile swab. Opening that up. Take one of the swabs. I'm going to open the top of my syringe. Then I'm going to just put the swab into the syringe. Mix it for like a couple seconds. Taking the swab out. Gonna use my agar plate, opening it up. Now I'm gonna swipe the swab horizontally across the entire agar plate. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna do it again at 60 degrees. So my agar plate now has the sample onto that. So now that I have my sample on the agar plate, I'm gonna be using the antimicrobial discs. So I have the discs over here. And then I'm gonna be using some sterile forceps so I can pick them up and put them onto the plate. Now when I'm placing these onto the plate, I want to make sure that they are no closer than 10 to 15 millimeters of the edge of the plate. So using my forceps, just going to gently grab one. And put into my agar plate. Onto the surface. And another one. Right on top of that, next to it. And then I'm gonna place two more on each side. And then last one. Right on top of that. I can I use this ruler just to measure to make sure I haven't gone over um, the correct amount of space to put them at. Now that I have these onto the plate of the surface, I'm going to use my other sterile swab and just gently push these in to the agar plate. So now that I push the disc into the surface of the agar plate, I'm gonna intubate this upside down at 37 degrees Celsius and come back and check on it in about 18 to 24 hours and then measure the inhibitory zones. So now I have my plates in the incubator and then I'm just gonna leave them here for about 18 to 24 hours and then come check on it. This culture is from urine from one of the patients. There's been a little bit of growth now I'm gonna measure the inhibitory zones. This is also another culture from urine. As you can see, this one definitely has more bacteria. And again, I'm just gonna measure the inhibitory zones. This is another culture from urine. Not very much growth on this one. 
and then lastly my other culture with urine and again not much growth so i'm going to be using these to measure the space um around the antibiotic disc that is on my agar plate i'm going to using the millimeter side of this Now that I have those measurements, I'm going to write in my results onto my chart. So I just did measurements for the um, culture plates. I measured the complete width of the sample around the antibiotic disc. The measurements that we got for the two samples that had growth on them were 18 millimeters and 24 millimeters. So I compared that with this chart in my textbook. I can see from this chart that my results were susceptible to this antibiotic.